What is up, YouTube? The camera's fixed. So obviously, or it wasn't broken, but I was having some issues with it zooming in and zooming out, and I actually got that fixed, as you guys can see. I have some issues that I want to talk about today. Well, I, actually, it's just one particular issue. Um, if you guys hear that weird... Hold on for a second. Is that you making that noise? I was just wondering. Okay, no, I'm not worried about it. I was just wondering. All right, YouTube. Uh, anyway, if you hear that loud noise come up, it's because David was making <laughs> a really strange noise in the other room. I think he was just playing with the cat, though. But, uh... Anyway, what I want to talk about is there was an issue, or which people will see as an issue, the U.S. Supreme Court denied drug testing for people on welfare. Now, I see this being a whole big issue. I see a lot of people being up in arms about this. And let me first tell you this. I actually support the decision of the Supreme Court. Or no, I don't support the decision of the Supreme Court. Sorry. Um, I actually think that drug testing should be required for people on welfare. And the reason why, I've, I've been on welfare before, and... Um, just recently I actually lost my job so but because of legal matters with another employee we got sued company had to um, company had to basically cut down on the employees that it could keep and nine of us let go got let go and I was one of them um, now I agree that you actually should have to um, be drug tested to be on welfare. Um, and it's not going to be the argument of welfare is highest in black communities and stuff because uh, let me go off into a side issue for a second. The projects were created by the government, okay? Low income housing and stuff like that um, was created by the government. Now, the majority of this country, or the, the first off, the first people that lived here were Native Americans, or Indians. But I say Native Americans to differentiate between Indians, as in Native Americans, and Indians, as in Indians from India. So I say Native Americans. Um, and if you look at the way we treated them, that's one thing. But when Spain invaded here and invaded this land and started creating our US history if you look at what happened Spain and and the white man here has actually suppressed um, anybody else not like them so the white has always been in the majority in this country now Fred Phelps from Westboro Baptist Church yeah that's your there you can take that video out of con or take that clip out of context like you always do every time I say something to you. And every time we talk, take that out of context and say that I'm racist against whites. Just do that. Go ahead, take it out of context. But anyone who sits through this video will see that um and yes, me and Fred Phelps from Westboro Baptist Church. I'm about ninety percent sure that it's him, but I've got some doubts. But we are Facebook friends. Um, we do get into a lot of arguments. He likes to call me racist with no actual substantiation behind his claim. Um, so, anyway. The, the point is, is you get into 
if you're not white, then you're suppressed. Now, so th please don't think I'm going to say welfare is highest in the black communities because I'm against black people. I'm saying that because black people at this time, or at the current time right now, and for the last couple hundred years, have faced the oppression that's given to them by white America. And we all know that's true. Okay? So the reason why they're in these, the 90% of the people that are in low income housing is black people is because it's pretty much forced upon them. Not like, you know, with a gun to their head or anything like that, but um, they're pretty much forced in that situation. Now, there are whites and in there too. So, this, what, this next thing that I'm going to say basically affects everybody. I'm not saying that people on welfare because they drank or drugged up all their money or anything like that. The reason why I'm for drug testing for people on welfare is the simple fact that I'm for, if you're going to be on a government program, there needs to be things in place to make sure you're doing the right thing with that program. Like, I actually, I'm for very, very strict rules on welfare. Um, I'm for medical examinations to get on welfare. That's, I'm for that, uh, that's as far as I go. Because if you're able to work, you shouldn't be on welfare. And I've been on it before, but my political views on that have changed. Um, and therefore, like, I would love to be on food stamps right now. I would love to have any kind of welfare that I can, but... To be on to supplement for what I can't do right now, and and for the economy and stuff. But no, I got. I'm gonna tough it out because my political viewpoints have changed, and I would be a hypocrite if I was telling you something that I wasn't following. I think that you should have strict rules on it. I think that you should do at least five applications a week to new places. Or, or checkups. Maybe you live in a small town and there's not that many businesses to apply to. But there should be at least five applications or checkups that you should have to provide a proof for to the people that are running your you know, med, med, um, welfare. I think there should be drug testing for it. And I think you should have to have a physical examination below and above a certain age to get it. Like once you're 18, I think you should have to have a physical physical. Um, Exam to be on Medicaid and under 65. Once you hit 65, I think that you should be given medi giving given welfare if you need it. Um, but then that's I'm for transitioning back to a republic, which means that the stuff like that would be up to the church after we do that. But I'm for a slow translation or trans. Uh, I'm for a slow trans transmission. Or whatever transition there you go um, so my viewpoint is from 18 to 64 you need to have a you need to have a um, or better yet from 18 to whatever the current retirement age is at the time that you apply um, then I'm for having to have a medical exam to be able to get on it unless you're on disability or something like that but the reason why is because I think too many able-bodied people aren't doing anything. They're not out there because the government is giving them, and giving them a handout to make them not want to be out there. Hold on for one second. <laughs> um, to make people not want to be out there. People are not going to be... If, if I'm hungry and you buy me a burger that's fine like, you know what I'm saying to help somebody get out of a temporary situation but come back to you the next day and say I'm hungry buy me a burger and you buy it and then I eat it and then the next day I come to you and say hey I'm hungry buy me a burger and I do that for a week straight Start, you you got to start to get the idea that maybe I'm not looking at other means. And by the way, then I'm going to be really unhealthy if all I'm eating is burgers. But 
maybe I'm not looking at a means of doing anything for myself. Maybe, maybe that should be a thought in your mind. Hey man, I bought this guy a burger like eight or nine days in a row now. I know it's more than a week. But you bought me a burger eight or nine days in a row now. Now I'm becoming comfortable with having you as my backup. So I'm going to lax back and go, I don't got to apply for work. They're going to feed me. You know what I'm saying? So the government is way, way too liberal. And I'm a libertarian. So there are things I'm liberal on. I'm not, con I'm not a conservative. I'm not a, a liberal. I'm a libertarian. So I'm sort of in the middle. I'm a liberal on um, secondary issues. Like, I'm conservative on abortion. I'm conservative on gay marriage. Like, no abortion, no gay marriage. Uh, I'm not the, the hyper-Calvinist. I'm, I'm Calvinist. I am Reformed. I'm not the hyper-Calvinist like Westboro Baptist Church. Fred Phelps, If when you see this video, I'm talking to you, by the way, who will go out there and say, I hate gays, or God killed your kids, and, and stuff. I'm for actually loving them and accepting them. Like, I have gay friends. I have unbeliever friends. I've got, you know, Roman Catholic friends. Uh, and, and you should still show that the Christian love towards them. Um, so I am for that. I have never, I'm not for being hateful to people. But I am conservative on those issues. Medical marijuana. I toke up from time to time. I'm liberal on that. Uh, honestly, brothels. You know, like legitimate uh, prostitute houses. I would never go to one. I, I have a moral issue with stuff like that. I'm not for a street. I'm, I'm not for a street in unregulated prostitution now brothels where you're getting tested and you're getting uh, protection and stuff like that yeah go ahead I mean I'm not gonna do it but I'm liberal on that issue I don't care go ahead you wanna go in there and for 20 30 bucks and get your jollies off go I don't care so see what I mean um anyway so I think that there should be tough requirements on being, um, on being on welfare, and that's just the way it is. You know, I think that if you take help from an agency, then you should do. The agency should be able to require things of you to make sure that you're using. Um. You know. Like, the agency should be able to require, if, you, if they're giving you, if they're supporting you, it'd be like if a parent supported you. Parent supports you, you sort of got to go by what they say. Parent doesn't support you, you don't have to go by what they say. So if you're on welfare and you're getting help from the government, then honestly need to help. Don't be an able-bodied working person that just doesn't want to do it, but honestly need the help. And and let them put requirements on you, like drug testing and a certain amount of job applications or check-ins with places you've already applied and, and stuff like that. And you know what? You're on it for six months at a time. And then every six months they reevaluate you. And, and yeah, that way... That way it's not used as a way to not work, but it's used as a way to keep working and to, or to keep working and getting a job or something like that. It, it keeps you motivated to keep doing what you're supposed to be doing and not, and not what you're not supposed to be doing. So that's my viewpoint on it. And that's what I think. And if there's any issue with that, then I don't know. But peace. Sub so rate and comment below. Later. Deuces.